Darn old nurse. <laughs> you thought that was funny. Hey, a two-year contract extension at $5.6 million is the A. Yeah. All salary and that, no signing bonuses, no performance bonuses, of course. What are your thoughts on this? Because I, for one, thought that it was going to be, if he was going to look for something, it was going to be a much bigger deal considering he's just coming off a bridge. But Right. I, I don't see much problem in this deal uh there are obviously the comments came out after that he does want to stay in edmonton and he wants to sign a long-term deal after um after this deal and after edmonton get a, get out of cap issues so by the time darnell nurse becomes a ufa because after this deal he will be a ufa uh russell uh, chris russell his four million will come off the books uh chase on will come off the books the year before that's 2.15 and Miko Koskinen's four and a half will come off the book come off the books that same year uh they also are going to we have to re-sign Ryan Nugent Hopkins uh if they decide to do so I I'd imagine they will and Adam Larson I don't my thing is I don't think they bring back Adam Larson but so they have to re-sign Nuja Hopkins and Darnell Nurse. I have no problem with this extension. You know, it's, I get it's two years. He's taking another. He's ta- obviously taking a pay raise, five point six million. He, I, I'd argue, this year he's probably been their best defenseman, if not their second best. Of course, and he's on that Ethan Bear pairing that people just love to clamor on about. But another Oilers extension, Joachim Nygaard, a real teammate, is taking a pay cut. Originally making nine hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, nine hundred twenty-five hundred thousand dollars is now making eight hundred seventy-five. So let's it, be honest: if Connor McDavid didn't take all the money, Joachim Nygaard wouldn't have to take. Yeah, money. sure. I mean, listen, it's one of those small, small end deals. Uh, nothing really much to say. Like he's a he's a he's a depth guy. He's a he's a piece to have. There's not a whole lot to say on that one. A cheap, undrafted winger from Sweden. Exactly. Who exactly. is probably someone that you could put on McDavid's wing and get 20 goals and not have to give him a four-year contract like Zach Cassian. 